Hey guys, it's GS Luke DFS bringing you my top three DraftKings NBA plays for March 16th. Starting it off with my value play tonight is going to be Mike Muscala of the Oklahoma City Thunder. And he's coming in at a great price tag also of $3,400. What I love about Muscala is the plethora of minutes that he's likely to see tonight with Darius Baisley and Al Horford both out for the Thunder. While last night, Moses Brown saw a lot of those minutes and Mike Muscala didn't see those minutes. I expect that to change tonight. Muscala was coming off an injury that he aggravated a couple weeks ago and I'm sure the Thunder last night didn't want to throw him out there for his usual 24-26 minutes in a situation like this. He it was coming off a leg injury. It's easy to re-aggravate. So I'm sure they took a little bit of a safe approach with him. Tonight I see him getting 20 to 25 minutes. I have him projected right now for 24 minutes. And being a 0.95 fantasy point per minute producer, I expect him to score about 22 fantasy points. And at that price tag, that is a smash play tonight. And that's just at his projection. And five of seven games this year where he's seen more than 24 minutes, he's scored more than 30 fantasy points. So he's flashed that scoring upside that can really break a slate. The best part about Muscala is that he's getting no ownership. Almost everyone is buying into Moses Brown, and I see this being one of the best leverage spots of the entire year. If Mike Muscala gets the minutes that Moses Brown did last night, not only will you be ahead of the crowd um, and beating about 60-70% of it, um, you'll be beating them by a good amount if Muscala goes out and has a game um, like he does from time to time. He's a good shooter, he's a streaky shooter, and tonight I love the upside. He's, again, great leverage. It's also a great matchup and that he's playing against the Bulls, a team that doesn't really prioritize defense, so I love it all around. It's my value play of the day, and he's going to be a very exposed player in my player pool. My GPP play for tonight is going to be Damian Lillard, coming in at $10,800, which is a hefty price tag for Lillard, especially considering that CJ McCollum's back in the lineup and likely to take away some usage. So you're saying, with that being said, why would you want to play Damian Lillard? Well, it's, it's his ceiling. Damian Lillard is capable of putting up 70 to 80 plus point fantasy for point performances from time to time. I'm expecting him to play 36 minutes tonight, which is his average. Sometimes he plays 37, even 38 in really close games. And I project him for about 60 fantasy points. And at that level, he's still a 5x producer, you know, producing actually well above that. But he has that ceiling. Even with C.J. McCollum, you've seen it before. Last year, he put up over 75 fantasy points four times. He has only done it one time this year, which means he's only due at this point. Obviously, um, he's not going to be a smash play for me. He's not going to be somebody that I'm playing in all my lineups by any means. But he's coming in at 4% ownership, which is extremely low. And it's very easy to get multiples um, over the field when exposing yourself to Damian Lillard. So I also love the matchup as well. Uh, tonight, they're playing. Portland is playing the New Orleans Pelicans, which is one of the worst defenses in the league, and they also play at one of the highest paces. The game right now, the game total is 240, making it the highest on the whole slate, meaning somebody's going to have to score those 120 points for Portland. I expect at least 40 of them to be from Damian Lillard. If he ends up getting some assists, which I expect him to be able to, considering that he has more weapons out there now, he's going to have CJ McCollum and the rest of his bench to his disposal, and I expect him to perform well in that category as well. So as such, I'll have about 20% Damian Lillard tonight. If his ownership creeps up, I'll up that even more. But again, it's a moderate risk, high reward type of play, which is exactly what you're looking for with a GPP play. And finally, my smash play for tonight, the guy I'll, I'll pretty much have in every single lineup, just like Muscala is going to be LeBron James, coming in at a $10,500 price tag. He actually was discounted off of last night's price, um, and that's because he only played 30 minutes and only put up 53 fantasy points. But tonight, I expect him to get back to his normal range of minutes, which is about 33 to 35 minutes. And at that point, I expect him to score about 57 to 60 fantasy points. That would be well above 5x value. That's approaching 6x value for a spend-up option, which is exceptional. But because AD is sidelined for yet another game, he has that 70 to 80 plus point upside. 
usually he doesn't show those games when AD is around because there has to there's a lot of usage that gets spread between the two of them. But without AD, there's a huge gap. And sometimes LeBron James takes advantage of it and has those LeBron games kind of like he does in the playoffs every time. But again, if he has that ceiling performance, you're going to absolutely have to have him. And I think even at his median projection, he's somebody that you may have to have, given that he's a small forward, expected to put up 6x value, and somebody that will be a core play for me tonight. Those are my top three plays for tonight, guys. Let me know who you're playing tonight. Um, and who who your smash play will be for tonight? Let me know in the comments. So as always, subscribe and good luck.